Lesson 293 All fear is past and only love is here. Hi there. Today, let's once again train our ability to see the world beyond this world and manifest a new happier life starting from this very moment. How does that sound? Let's explore what Lesson 293 has to teach us about it. All fear is past and only love is here. All fear is past, because its source is gone, and all its thoughts gone with it. Love remains the only present state, whose source is here forever and forever. Can the world seem bright and clear and safe and welcoming, with all my past mistakes oppressing it and showing me distorted forms of fear? Yet in the present love is obvious, and its effects apparent. All the world shines in reflection of its holy light, and I perceive a world forgiven at last. Father, let not your holy world escape my sight today. Nor let my ears be deaf to all the hymns of gratitude the world is singing underneath the sounds of fear. There is a real world which the present holds safe from all past mistakes. And I would see only this world before my eyes today. In other words, for a moment, let's not consider the thoughts our mind is thinking or the emotions dictating how we should feel. Instead, let's focus on the underlying mindset behind those thoughts that pop up in our mind, potentially triggering our painful emotions. The mindset we adopt, or that we wear like a suit, as suggested in a previous lesson, is like the set of rails on which our thoughts run. Which mindset are we wearing at the moment? Is it a defensive mindset? An aggressive one? Is it a mindset that warns us to be wary of people trying to harm, trick, or manipulate us? Or does it tell us not to expect anything good today? And here's the crucial point, are we conscious of the mindset we're wearing? If we aren't, we can't do anything about it. If we are, then our mindset becomes a matter of choice, we can opt for a different one. We can choose a mindset that directs our focus in the most beneficial way for us and everyone involved. Is the glass half empty or half full? Perhaps it's all about how our perspective influences our actions for the betterment of ourselves and others. Is the world we see still one of fear? Or can we glimpse the real world beyond appearances? As we discussed yesterday. Lesson 292 a happy outcome to all things is sure. Let's consider the world we see around us, the one we can have an impact on in the present moment. Do we see a forgiven world? Do we see the world our forgiveness shows us? The one where all the past is gone, and it cannot influence how we hold our vision. Lesson 289 The past is over. It can touch me not. Do we see a world where everyone we meet is our brother, our savior, our self, and a reflection of God himself? Lesson 266 My holy self abides in you, God's son. Bottom line, there's another world beyond the one we usually see. By persevering on our path to forgiveness and remaining open, we can begin to discern its signs and hear the underlying songs of gratitude amidst this world's fearful sounds. However, never forget, this step requires a little bit of effort and, as strange as it may sound, a step out of the comfort zone. It is an active quest to seek the signs of the real world and discern beyond any fearful appearances the love that underpins the universe. It's all too easy to revert to our familiar complacent mindset even if it's the one causing us pain and discouragement. It is an active choice to forget the mistakes our brother made, and it's equally an active choice to forgive the mistakes we ourselves made in the past when we didn't know any better. It's easy to choose to keep lingering in the echoes of past events or what someone did to us. However, that choice won't set us free, that's not what will make us happy. We have the power to leave the past behind. We have the power to shift our perspective. We have the power to focus solely on that love which is the only thing that exists. And that's how we create another life here and now, from scratch, and from this very moment on. 
All fear is past and only love is here. All fear is past and only love is here. All fear is past and only love is here. Isn't that both enlightening and empowering? We can let go of past fears and embrace a present vision of love and gratitude. That's how we begin a new life from this moment forward. Shall we do it right now? Shall we start in this very holy instant? Keep practicing morning and evening and aim to recall today's idea hourly. Especially during challenging moments, when you feel adrift or tempted by familiar mindsets, take a moment to remind yourself. All fear is past and only love is here. And as we are currently exploring this section what is the real world, today's lesson, all fear is past and only love is here, reminds us that the real world is revealed when we let go of fear and embrace love. The past, with all its mistakes and fear-based illusions, can no longer dictate our present experience once we choose forgiveness. In the real world, we perceive only love, peace, and gratitude, allowing us to see the world as it truly is, beyond appearances. This new perspective enables us to manifest a happier life starting now, by aligning with the love that has always been present. Let's affirm today. All fear is past and only love is here, and let this vision guide us forward. But if you haven't watched the introduction to the section What is the Real World, you can find a link on your screen at the end of this video, or check the video description below for the link to section 8. All fear is past and only love is here. All fear is past and only love is here. All fear is past and only love is here. You're on an incredible journey, and you're doing an amazing job. See you tomorrow for another enlightening lesson. Quick note before you go. Let's take a moment to appreciate the generosity of those who have supported these videos. It's their contributions that make these daily lessons possible. Please consider joining them. And thank you for being a part of this community of miracle workers. There's a lot of love behind these videos. If you enjoyed what you watched, please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day.